Hi, my name is Maela, and in this tutorial, I would like to speak about pull to refresh in custom list view. Let's look at the final result. As you see, I have some items, and once I click on one of them, for example, one, three, five, seven, I can remove them. But how to bring them back by pulling down and refreshing the items. Now you see all the items are here. Okay, now we want to make something like this in basic for Android. First, as I explained in previous tutorial, it's better to watch previous tutorial, you need to download the class from this topic. Actually here, you need to download and this is the latest version and you can download that and you can add that to your project as I added here. And you need a couple of libraries here. Okay, so let's load the layout activity dot load layout this is my layout inside this layout i have a custom list view which covers the whole activity i add the definition and i'm adding item click to activity and now i need to load the items load items let's create this up here load items and here we need a loop statement for loop statement equal to 0 to 30 for example and custom list view add text item i'm doing that very fast because i explained that in previous tutorial and i just want to do it very fast to prepare it for the new tutorial about pull to refresh panel item number and we need one number here which is i variable which is here so it starts from 0 actually to 30 and once i click on one of the items i want to remove that so i can use remove at and I can give this index, which is the index of the item which I clicked on that here. So index, and here we need to close the parentheses, or yes, it needs another value, which we can leave it empty for now. Okay, let's see that if it works or not okay i can remove the items but i don't have pull to refresh panel okay how to do it i want to use this class again as i used in previous tutorial so let me add the variable here team swipe as the name of this class custom list view swipe and of course I need to initialize that so I need custom list view callback which is same activity so I type me and event name so custom list view me and event name so I will use the name of the variable again okay why did i use this variable because it has something uh, pull to refresh panel which helps me to create something like that as i showed you in that example as you see when i pull it down i can refresh the items so if i remove something then i can pull it down and it shows something like this this uh, method pull to refresh let me type that again helps me to create something like that so what does it need it needs before x views a kind of panel so i need to create 
a panel which has one progress bar. So to do it, I can do something like this. Dim pull to refresh panel as before XVUs. And I can cast that as panel. So I can use this variable XUI create panel. We don't need the event name, so I just leave it empty. And um, I can define and I can set the dimensions of these before X view. So I can say pull to refresh dot set this one duration zero left zero top zero width will be the width of the x i mean from here to here as you see it covers from left to right so the width is 100 percent of x and the height can be for example 60 dip the height of this one okay now we need one progress bar inside that so let me define that progress bar as progress bar so i can initialize that i don't need the event name uh, if you make it false, if I'm not mistaken, you can have something like this, a round one. Okay. And now I can add it to this one. So I say, pull to refresh this one dot add view. What do you want to add? Progress bar. Where from left zero, top zero, 60 dip and 60 dip and now it's ready we can put it here pull to refresh okay now i think that is ready to be used let's see the result okay oh sorry i need to make it true instead of false so let's run it again okay now i can see that here but if i want to see that in the middle of this panel i can change the left part i can say 50 percent of x minus 30 which is half of this one 30 dip so i hope to see that in the center of that panel yes like this as you see nothing happens and i cannot refresh these items how to do that we need another sub the name of that one is uh, refresh request refresh request which is here uh, we need to search for this one so that's here and here here is for before i and here is for basic for android okay here so when i change the uh, y position of um, custom list view i can raise this by these conditions so anyway i want to use this um, sub first i need to create that so i can say sub swipe underline and this method i think i need to remove one okay now let's log something here to see what happens let's type something here okay now when i pull down 
I can see this and I can see this log here. So what I need to do instead of this one, uh, first I can clear the custom list view. So I, say, I can say custom list view dot clear. So it clears all the item. And then I want to load them again. So I can copy this sub here. And then I need to wait for a while. So I say sleep, maybe 600 milliseconds. And then the last step is to tell a uh, swipe variable, this one, that I'm done. And please close the refresh panel. So I can say swipe dot refresh completed. By this one, you can close this panel. So let's run it again. So I try to remove 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And then by pulling down, I can refresh. All the items still are here. This is very easy by this class, as you see. I hope you can benefit of this class. Very wonderful. In previous tutorial, I talked about adding some action buttons here. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please be sure to watch that. That's very beneficial by using this class and you can customize that. This is an open class. You can customize that as you wish. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you liked my tutorial, please hit on that like button. Thank you for watching.